So here we are. Um, this is a painting called Trellis of 1991. It's an oil on canvas. It's 43 by 43 centimeters, which uh, is 17 by 17 inches. And uh, she moved from Moore Park Road in Fulham to Sherbrooke Road in Fulham in 1983, which was very, very close to North End Road, which uh, she enjoyed immensely. Um, could you well, the, tell us a little bit about her strolls down North End Road? There was a market on North End Road, and she, I'd, I walked it with her on several occasions. And there were little corner shops and market stalls, and outside, piled up high, there might be plastic chairs or um, cheap goods, uh, dishwashing bowls, clothes horses, that kind of thing. Bit, or hardware, there's a hardware shop where uh, bits of trellis, as mm -hmm. you can see here, would be mm -hmm. sold, or perforated um, sheet metal, chicken wire kind of thing. And she used these, she would buy these to um, help her create these geometrical frameworks and grids and structures as backgrounds to her paintings. They were almost like templates and she'd dab the paint through the, the apertures and so on. You can see that, can't you? It forms the yeah, background. Yeah. Now, I can also see the use of blue. Uh, and um, in 1986, she had her cataracts removed. Yeah. And it was rather interesting what she, what she said about her discovery of blue. Yeah, when, when she had the bandages taken off, she was telling us that John Ball and Gordon Hargreaves one night, um, she hadn't been perceiving blue for a number of years, but she was unaware of that. Mm. So when the bandages were removed, all of a sudden, everything had a blue cast to it. And so these blue, these pronounced blues start to appear. And the, there is a, a greater degree of um, lip smacking, high key coloring comes in, in, into the paintings. Um, she used to stare at the gas jets on her, on on her cooker, cooker. Yeah, yeah. because of this blue, yeah. this kind of thing. Um, incidentally, the, the, the configuration in the centre there, which on the one hand it could be a flower. It looks or, like one of those um, things that kids have, like a little windmill. Oh, like a windmill mm. or even a washing up mop. Yeah, yeah. But all these ambiguities, mm. you know, mm. just like the market itself, yeah. up and down. North and she just plays around with the shape and arrives at... Yeah. And also, it's very painterly, you know. This is a catalogue of what yeah, you can do with pigment. Yeah, yeah. A bit scraped on, dabbed on, deposits sitting on the surface. A wonderful pink that she's used yeah. on the right-hand side. And do you see how these little elements, these little lozenges have detached themselves mm. and seem to float throughout the composition? Endlessly inventive with, with her use of paint, I think, and pigment. And of course, she was working mark against mark, experimenting, seeing if it would fit, she didn't know what it would look like mm. before she started the painting. Yeah. She had a kind of vague idea what she was after and she'd moved towards it in an experimental way, I think. <laughs> 